it is election day in Alberta, but what will the results mean for Ottawa and the upcoming federal election? And the Ontario NDP are making history with the announcement of the province's first black caucus. Joining me now with the latest developments on these political stories is the Globe and Mail's Laura Stone. Laura, great to see you. Good morning, Kelsey. So let's start first in Albertans today. Albertans choose between uh, the current Premier, Rachel Notley, and new Dem new from the New Democrats, pardon me, and Jason Kenney's United Conservative Party. So what impact will this have on the upcoming federal election? Well, I think this, you know, if Jason Kenney wins, which all polls suggest will happen, and of course he's a former federal conservative minister, I think this both, both hurts and helps Justin Trudeau. It certainly hurts his climate change agenda. We know that Jason Kenney is going to pursue a carbon ch tax challenge like we're seeing in other conservative-leaning provinces, including Ontario, which is happening this week. Saskatchewan and Manitoba has also announced that. There's going to be a battle over pipelines. Jason Kenney has pushed very hard for the federal government to actually start construction on the Trans Mountain Pipeline. And Trudeau is going to be caught in the middle of a provincial fight between BC and Alberta, Quebec and Alberta. So that is going to make it very difficult for Trudeau to bring the provinces together. Where it helps him, though, uh, is he can use Jason Kenney as a foil, as we're seeing how uh, Trudeau also uses Doug Ford in Ontario. He's linking them to Andrew Scheer. He's painting them as extremists, as, as divisive. So I think he'll be using a lot of that language in the upcoming federal election campaign. You mentioned the federal conservatives, Andrew Scheer. So what impact does this have on Andrew Scheer and Jagmeet Singh? Well, Andrew Scheer certainly wants to ride the wave of popularity of uh, Jason Kenney, and he was out there campaigning with him recently. Uh, we've seen the same with Doug Ford. So I think this does help uh, Andrew Scheer in the sense that he, he could feel that there's sort of a conservative wave coming through the provinces. Um, however, he, he risks being overshadowed by more famous, boisterous conservatives. Jagmeet Singh, I don't know what will help him at this point. He's, the NDP is polling super low and um, you know him and Rachel Notley weren't really allies because she does support a pipeline. But I think that she'll be more on side with him now if she is in opposition and they can kind of push those progressive values. Okay, let's turn our eyes to Alberta, or pardon me, to Ontario this morning. Uh, but kind of a monumental day yesterday with the NDP. That's right, you know, this is something that is emulated, uh, that the NDP is emulating on the federal stage. The federal uh, liberals, for instance, have a black caucus, and now the NDP has started their own. Uh, th this kind of sprung from meetings uh, with the black community. So they'll be having uh, meetings, you know, w once or twice a month to kind of bring certain issues forward. But I spoke with the NDP yesterday, and it's not specific to quote unquote black issues. This is how this impacts people of color um, in terms of health care, education, how these different communities are impacted. So uh, they will be meeting on a regular basis and it is a historic uh, initiative. There's two big stories out of a couple of provinces today that all eyes right across the country are tuned into. So, Laura, we thank you for your perspective. Thank you so much.